Welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you items that will be available for the February 2022 Polish Pickup. Before we get started, if you enjoy my Polish Pickup reviews, if they're helpful for you in deciding what to grab, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would so appreciate you doing so. I upload new live watching videos every week. So February's theme is 90s TV and I mean the makers always go all out, but this month they just took it to the next level. We've got some really fun inspiration. The Polish Pickup Shop opens the first Friday of every month. This month that is February 4th and it will open at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And wishlisting always becomes available. That means the site is open for preview the Sunday before the shop opens. This month that is on January 30th and there's no set time for that. It's just whenever they can get the site ready. If you're super confused right now and you're like, what is Polish Pickup? Make sure you check out my description box I know the entire process can be a little bit daunting. Um, I'll have some tips down there and explanations that will help your shopping experience go more smoothly. All right, we have a lot of fun, beautiful items to look at today, so let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So if this is your first time checking out one of my polish pickup preview videos, I swatch all the polishes I have to share with you in rainbow order. But bear in mind that 80% of what I have to share with you today is either green or blue. We do have one orange though, and it comes from by Danny Viana. It's called Hunky Lees, and it's described as being a darkened orange jelly base filled with black flakes. It's going to retail for $13 and will have a 400 bottle cap. This one is inspired by Hercules, one of the maker's favorite movies. I knew I would enjoy this polish even before I put it on my nails. By Danny Viana makes some beautiful jelly bases. They're the kind that dry down ultra shiny and have that very squishy, juicy jelly finish that I love so much. <laughs> um, and the black flakes in here are so cute. They're tiny and delicate and contrast beautifully against that orange base. Going on the nail, I was very, very pleased with this one. It is so pigmented for a jelly base like this. It's still got that beautiful squishiness, but it's very pigmented on that first coat. I can still see quite a bit of nail line and nail showing through, but it was very even and went on super smoothly. I was able to reach full opacity in just two coats, but if you've got longer nails, you might wanna have three. So I found that as this one dried down, it started to lean a little bit more red. And you'll see that in the bottle, it looks like more of like a butternut squash soup color orange, burnt orange. <laughs> and then on my nail here, it does look to be like a more reddish orange. That seemed consistent with the other swatchers photos of this polish as well. It may have just been how it played against my skin tone, or maybe it just dries down darker. Regardless, it was absolutely beautiful and one I'll definitely be grabbing for this fall. Pictured are two coats of By Danny Viana Hunkulees with a glossy top coat. And getting into all of our beautiful greens we have this month, from Stella Chroma, we have Crikey, which is described as being a creamy green base with sparkling metallic flakies in yellow, blue, and gold. It's going to retail for $13. There will not be a cap. And this one is, of course, inspired by Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. Pam said she was tired of waiting for famous Steve. So here you go. <laughs> $1 of every bottle sold is going to go to the Australia Zoo Wildlife Warriors, which is a conservation charity created by Steve and Terry Irwin. So very unique polish here. The combination of colors is beautiful. The dusty army muted green with the almost turquoisey metallic flakes, the yellowish gold metallic flakes, and the they almost look to be a rose gold color. I've just never seen a polish quite like this, and I think all of the different colors make it perfect for any season. So on application, this one does have a curly base. It does lean slightly creamy, but as you can see, it's still got that squishiness to it, and it's a bit sheer on that first coat. Plenty of those flakes come out no problem, though. It does start to build up very nicely on the second coat, but I can still see a little bit of nail line. I predict that this will be a three-coater for most people. As you can see on that third coat, I did reach full opacity. Lots of those flakes really plump, super juicy. Gosh, this one is really pretty. So here is what three coats of Crikey looks like built up with a glossy top coat. It did smooth out just fine, by the way, with the glossy top coat. The flakes don't dry down textured at all. 
Again, just really fun shade of green and super versatile. Pictured are three coats of Crikey from Stella Chroma with a glossy top coat. Next up from Wildflower Lacquer, we have It's Showtime. It's described as being a dusty sage with purple to pink to orange shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes. It's going to retail for $13 and does have a super low cap of $250. I would not be a little bit shocked. In fact, I will be incredibly shocked if it doesn't sell out. <laughs> it most definitely is going to sell out. And this one is inspired by the Beetlejuice TV show. So here under my bright studio lighting, you get a lot of that beautiful purple glow within this polish. And then when you take it into lower lighting, you can also see the shifts to orange and pink as well. The base of this is a beautiful sage, almost spring green leaning sage. It's a fresh, bright sage that I think would be really beautiful going into spring. On that first coat, I was so pleased with the opacity. Wildflower does these light shifting shimmer polishes so well. They're always a lot more opaque than I expect them to be. I almost got full opacity in two coats. I think some people with shorter nails or less visible nail line could get away with two coats for this one, but I think a lot of people will want three. That's what I was most comfortable with. So there's that beautiful purple shimmer, and then you also see all of the sparkle from the hollow flakes. So here is what three coats of It Showtime looks like with a glossy top coat. You can see the shift to purple and pink there, and then at certain angles, you get a little bit of that orange there as well. Really beautiful, super shimmery, another unique polish. Pictured are three coats of It Showtime from Wildflower Lacquer with a glossy top coat. Next up from Bees Knees Lacquer, we have Jossum, which might be the most hilarious name in this whole video. It's described as being a blue to purple pastel multi-chrome base with gold reflective glitter. This one's going to retail for $13. There is fortunately no cap, and it is inspired by the Street, Street Sharks animated series. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, if you are, let me know down in the comments. So interestingly... I grouped these polishes together. I put them in rainbow order before I read the descriptions, and I could have sworn that this one would have green in the description. It doesn't. Am I crazy? Are you seeing green in here? Because I'm totally seeing green. I thought the base was going to be green, and honestly, I thought the reflective glitters were going to be like a goldish green, but it doesn't say anything about the base other than it is a shifting multi-chrome, and then the reflective glitters are gold, so go figure. But I felt like Anyway, it fit in really well with the Wildflower Polish. So I wanted to make sure to swatch those side by side so we could do a little bit of comparison. Comparison? Comparing. <laughs> so on application, this one was super sheer. You can see in three coats, which is what I'm about to go in for, you still get a whole lot of visible nail line. If that is your thing, you are absolutely going to love this polish. Personally, I'm not a big fan of a lot of VNL, so I prefer it as a topper, which I will show you here in just a second. So here's what three coats of Jossum looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. I would usually recommend a glitter smoother for any reflective glitter polishes. They dry down to a very textured finish. This one isn't the most textured finish. I think you could probably scrub it off, but... I would suggest a peel off base coat for this personally. Here's what one coat of Jossum looks like over one coat of Wildflower Lacquer. It's showtime. In the bottle, I feel like these polishes are made for each other. The shifts are very similar and just gorgeous. Here's what three coats of Jossum looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat under flashlight. Wow so sparkly and this is the first reflective glitter I've ever seen in the shade so I am super intrigued. Here's what it looks like as a topper over the Wildflower Lacquer at Showtime. Really beautiful that way too and you get so much opacity. Just a little combo suggestion for you in case you end up grabbing both. Pictured are three coats of Jossum from Bees Knees Lacquer with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat.
This month from Bluebird Lacquer we have, I'm so over Jordan Catalano. It's described as being an icy blue to shimmering seafoam with a purple peekaboo shattered holographic that sparkles just like his eyes. I love that description, even though I don't know who this is. It's going to retail for $12.50 and there will be no cap. And it is inspired by so not being over Jordan Catalano. So this formula from Bluebird is one of my absolute favorites. If you have not tried Bluebird lacquer before, this is your opportunity because you will love this finish. The holographic is so insanely intense. The pigmentation is beautiful and you get some incredible shifts from the shimmer. It's got it all. I want every polish in this finish, every single one. So on application, look at it. Just look at it. So sparkly. We get a lot of that green shift right away. You can see the blue at certain angles as well. Oh gosh, it's so, so pretty. I had good opacity and two coats, but this one personally, I felt like I wanted three. I think if you're in a hurry, you could get away with two, but three is gonna give you beautiful opacity. So here's what three coats of I'm so over Jordan Catalano looks like with a glossy top coat. The holographic is so blingy. It almost looks like a silver polish with a striking green to blue shifting shimmer. That's how just beautiful this is. Here you can kind of see that shift to purple there. It is subtle, but it's there. You mostly see the green and the blue. And then just to show you how incredibly gorgeous this one is in the sun, here's what it looks like in the sun. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that hollow. Pictured are three coats of I'm so over Jordan Catalano from Bluebird Lacquer with a glossy top coat. This month from Fair Maiden Polish, we have Down by the Creek. It's described as being a bright blue-green base with bright gold to aqua to green shimmer and iridescent flakes. This one will retail for $12. There's not a cap, and it's inspired by the 90s teen drama Dawson's Creek. I was a kid when that came out, so I don't remember Dawson's Creek. I've never seen it, but every time I hear about it, I think of Moody's Point from The Amanda Show. If you watch The Amanda Show, let me know in the comments because it was one of my favorites. Anyway, back to this polish. In bright lighting, it looks to be a beautiful mid-toned green. Those flakies in a lot of lighting seem to be a beautiful yellow gold. They do shift to other shades, but yellow gold is the color that I saw in most lighting. On application, this one was very sheer. I almost want to say it has a no, it definitely has a very lightly tinted base. What makes it look so green is all of that incredible shimmer in there, and the flakies don't hurt either. In three coats, I felt like I could see just a little bit of nail line, but it wasn't as noticeable in person as it is in the video, I feel. I think the bright lighting brought it out just a little bit. That being said, I may pair it with a blurring base coat or even add another coat. So here's what three coats of Down by the Creek looks like with a glossy top coat. You get a lot of that green, you get a lot of the gold, and then you move your hand around and you get a lot of the blue. And that is what gets me. Oh my goodness. The way this one shifts from green to like a turquoisey blue, and then you get to peep those flakes in lower lighting. It's just gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Pictured are three coats of Down by the Creek from Fair Maiden Polish. Next up is one of my top picks from this month. It comes from Cupcake Polish and it's called Overcome with Emotion. <laughs> It's described as being a forest green packed with red iridescent aurora shimmer and a scattering of silver holographic glitter. This one is, of course, inspired by Daria. Yes, love Daria, love Daria. This one is going to be $13 and there is no cap. Thank goodness for that because I think this one's going to be so popular this month. It just has a beautiful mid-toned green base. It leans slightly darker, maybe a little bit teal leaning, but definitely obviously a green. In bright lighting, you get that beautiful, bold 
red shift of that shimmer, but in lower lighting, there are so many other shifts. And of course, that holographic glitter just creates a ton of sparkle. It's a beautiful combination. This one had a perfect jelly formula. It was the perfect balance between being opaque and still being able to see all of those gorgeous components inside this polish. In three coats, I could see a little bit of nail line and bright lighting like my studio lighting, which you're seeing here, but in regular everyday lighting, my nail line was not noticeable. If you've got longer nails though, it might be, so might wanna pair it with a blurring base coat of some kind. So here's what it looks like in three coats. How gorgeous are those glitters? They do make removal just a little bit more difficult than a regular shimmer would be, but I didn't have any issue getting them off with just a regular base coat. Oh my goodness. Here's what Overcome with Emotion looks like built up in three coats with a glossy top coat. I didn't need a glitter smoother for this. It smoothed out just fine with the regular glossy top coat. The shimmer in here, you all, it's unreal. The hollow is fabulous too. I've got my fingers double crossed. We'll see more of this finish from Cupcake Polish because I will be buying all of them. All of them. <laughs> Pictured are three coats of Overcome with Emotion from Cupcake Polish with a glossy top coat. We're going to move into our blues now. We do have quite a few of those this month. This one is from Dom Nail Polish and it's called To The Bus. It's described as being a blue jelly with assorted red and yellow glitters and a silver magnetic effect. The price for this is going to be $13 and there will be a super low cap of 200 bottles. So this is another one, really low cap. Remember, if you like any of the capped items, you're going to want to start shopping as soon as the shop opens at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on February 4th. So this polish is definitely one of the most unique polishes I have to share with you today. I have absolutely nothing like it in my collection. Between the combination of glitters, there are actually some flakies in here as well, and all the contrasts we get between those glitters, flakies, magnetic pigment, and the blue jelly base... It's a lot. Like, look at that. I have nothing like it. And I'm so happy to say that this magnetic pigment is one of those pigments that is super reactive. You saw when I applied the magnet how quickly those pigments were drawn inward. Those are my favorite magnetics to work with because they're just so easy. <laughs> On application, this one had a smooth, very easy to work with formula. I found that on the first coat, and all the coats, lots of magnetic pigment came out. Sometimes with my magnetic polishes, I like to skip magnetizing the first coat just to speed up the process. But honestly, with this one, I think you're gonna get the best result if you magnetize each and every layer. The reason for that is I think that if you skipped magnetizing a coat, you would lose that beautiful pond effect where you can see the flakies from the previous coat and I just think it'll look best if you magnetize them all. Just my opinion, though. So in three coats, I did reach full opacity. Because of the glitters, it's going to dry down a little bit textured, but you can smooth it out with a glitter smoother, no problem. And I am going to be sharing one of those with you here in just a few minutes. The glitters also make this one a little bit difficult to remove. Actually, quite difficult to remove, um, but well worth it, in my opinion. I just paired it with a peel-off base coat. I will say that the glitters had a little bit of a tendency to sink to the bottom of my bottle, but I just shook it up really good before application. And as you can see, I had no issue getting them out on my nails. The end result is beautiful. It looks like outer space <laughs> with the yellow suns, the blue sky, the stars. So pretty. Pictured are three coats of Dom nail polish to the bus with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. Next, we're taking a look at Rogue Lacquer's contribution. They're bringing us Time Out, and it's described as being a full coverage metallic UCC and hollow flake bomb. It's going to retail for $12.50. There will not be a cap, and this is inspired by Saved by the Bell. Even though I watched that way after it released, I watched it when I was a teenager, which was not in the 90s. Um, I loved that show, and I really found myself wishing that I had been a teenager in the 90s. 
So this one is like a party on the nails. You get a whole lot of that mid-tone denim blue, but scattered throughout are those bright flakes. I see a lot of red, copper, orange, gold, a little bit of green, a little bit of pink. And again, we just get some fabulous contrast between the blue and all those warm tones. It's so much fun. On the nail, this one was much more full coverage than I was expecting. In the bottle, I thought it could double as a topper. And I mean, if you want them to be, anything can be a topper. Uh, but I do think it's a little full coverage for being a topper. It built up so well in two coats. I could see just a little bit of nail line though. So I did go in for three. If you like a more sheer look though, I think this one was actually really beautiful in one coat or two coats with just a little bit of nail line peeking through. But I definitely had complete full opacity in three coats. Look at all those colors. It's wild. Here's what timeout looks like built up in three coats with a glossy top coat. Sorry, I don't know why I'm off center here. I must have been distracted by the beautiful colors in this polish. Um, this one smoothed out just fine with a glossy top coat. I don't think you'd need a glitter smoother and the flakes were very easy to remove. Pictured are three coats of timeout from Rogue Lacquer with a glossy top coat. Next up is Cuticula's offering. This one's called Against the Tide and it's described as being a bright blue jelly base with multiple colored shifting glass flakes. The price for this will be $13. There will not be a cap and this is inspired by the Little Mermaid. All right, recipe for perfection here in my opinion. <laughs> First of all, it has the glass flakes from Dragon Glass. You guys know how much I was obsessed with Dragon Glass. It's blue. Who doesn't love blue? Everybody loves blue, right? <laughs> and it's inspired by the Little Mermaid. Come on. Come on. Yes, I love this polish. I love blue love this polish. I probably would love it no matter what it looked like because it's inspired by The Little Mermaid, which has always been my favorite Disney movie. I literally know every word. It's annoying. Um, <laughs> but it's a beautiful polish uh, as well. The flakes are incredible. They're so shifty. I see every color in here, red, yellow, orange, green, and then the blue base. It's a rainbow. It's so bright and fun. And this kind of shade is one I love to wear all year round. On application, it has a very squishy jelly base with all of these kinds of polishes from Cuticula, all of these dragon glass like flakies. They always build up best in three coats. In three thin coats, you're going to get a beautiful pond effect. They're going to be a rich, deep base color and you get lots of flakies. More is more, right? <laughs> I would even say for this one, Personally, I would probably build it up to four coats. I don't say that too often, but I think it would be even more beautiful in four. Trust me, it's gorgeous in three, but in four, I think it would knock my socks off. Like I would never want to take this polish off. <laughs> For the first time ever, Cuticula is also offering their smoothing top coat called Quenched to the Polish Pickup Shop. It's going to retail for $8 and there will not be a cap. So if you haven't tried a smoothing top coat before, the way they work is you're supposed to pair them with a flaky heavy or a glitter heavy polish, reflective glitter polishes included. You let that polish dry completely, go on with this Quenched on top of that, let that dry completely, and then add a glossy top coat on top, a regular quick dry top coat. And what the end result looks like is a beautiful glass-like gel-like shine. You can't see any texture from the glitters. The flakes don't dry down thirsty. It's beautiful. If you haven't tried a glitter smoothing top coat, I'm like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Seriously, a game changer. Highly recommend this one. So after going in with three coats of Against the Tide, adding Quenched and a glossy top coat, this was the finished look. So much depth from those beautiful flakies. They are ridiculously glowy. And however pretty you think this looks in my video, trust me, it's 100 times more beautiful in person. <sighs> yeah, this is one of my top picks from this month. Just if you're at all tempted, grab it, grab it. <laughs> Pictured our three coats of Against the Tide with a glitter smoothing top coat, quenched, and a glossy top coat. 
Another absolute showstopper this month comes from Penelope Luz. It's called Stargate, and it's described as being a blue base with iridescent micro flakes that go from pink to gold and silver reflective glitters. And just look at them. They are crazy reflective, even in this lighting situation, which is like bright lighting. Whew, so beautiful. This one is going to retail for $13. It is capped at 500 bottles, and it is inspired by the TV show Stargate, which the maker highly recommends. <laughs> um, so like I was saying about these reflective glitters, they are crazy, y'all. Like, yeah, just wait until you see them under flashlight. They're so reflective in just regular lighting. The base color of, of this is a slightly green leaning mid-toned blue. And the contrast we get from that gorgeous red shifting shimmer is beautiful. So gorgeous. Another top pick. On application, this one had a beautiful jelly base. It was so smooth and easy to apply. The brush also, by the way, cut so perfectly like very enjoyable application experience. <laughs> um, so some of these reflective glitter polishes, sometimes the glitter bombs can be a little bit thick and difficult to apply. This one was not in any way. It was smooth. I feel like it has reflective glitters, but it's not a reflective glitter glitter bomb. So it wasn't super thick and chunky. Yeah, so beautiful. Fully opaque or very close to it in three coats. That's what you're looking at now. So here is what... Three coats of Stargate looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. I don't know that this one needed the glitter smoother, but when in doubt, I add it because it just gives you that beautiful glass like shine. So isn't it so beautiful in this lower natural lighting? You get all of the shift from the pink, the copper, gold. I feel like I see a little green in there, all against the blue base. So beautiful in just regular lighting, but wait till you see it under flashlight. Ba-bam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. So those silver reflective glitters just bring out the blue base and the shimmer underneath it all just mindfully beautiful. Like I need to put this on again ASAP. So pretty. Pictured are three coats of Stargate from Penelope Luz with quenched and a glossy top coat. Coming from Garden Path Lacquers this month, we have another incredible reflective glitter. Y'all have to let me know in the comments if you are loving these reflective glitters as much as I am. Initially, I wasn't sure, but now that makers are adding things like flakes and shimmer and thermal pigments to them, I can't get enough. <laughs> so Garden Path Lacquers is bringing us Omelette du Fromage, which is described as being a slightly milky base packed with blue holographic micro glitters, holographic micro flakes, and large orange to gold shifting iridescent crystal flakes. The price for this is going to be $13. There will not be a cap. And this is inspired by the episode of Dexter's Laboratory, another show I loved as a kid. Um, the episode called The Big Cheese, where Dexter tries to study for a French test by listening to the language while he sleeps. But in the morning, all he can say is omelette du fromage. And I don't remember that episode, but now I have to watch it. <laughs> um, so I've been waiting, waiting for a maker to pair these reflective glitters with holographic. And I love it. I love it because you get the reflective pigment under flashlight. And then when you take it into the bright lighting, you get the holographic. So it's like you get everything. Plus this has flakies too. Oh, I'm sold. On application, this one had a jelly base. Um, it was a she describes it as being a milky tinted base. Um, so it's not quite clear, but it's almost clear. And it built up really well, actually, in two coats for me. Um, I could still see just a little bit of nail line. So depending on your preference, your application, nail length, all of that, you may want to go in for three, but two was just fine for me. I mean, it looks so beautiful. And look at those flakes. I got a really big one near my cuticle. Oh, I'm loving it. 
So here is what two coats of Omelette du Fromage looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. Again, this one isn't a reflective glitter glitter bomb, so I don't know that you need a glitter smoother, but more is more, so I'm extra. I added it anyway, and a glossy top coat. So shifty, so stinking pretty. And here's what it looks like under flashlight. Yeah, the blue really comes out under the flashlight. Gosh, you all, these reflective glitters polishes are like getting me. They're so pretty. I can't get enough of them. <laughs> Pictured our two coats of Omelette du Fromage from Garden Path Lacquers with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. And this month from KB Shimmer, we have another reflective glitter. Yep. The makers went full tilt this month with the reflective glitters. <laughs> and in case you're only wanting to pick up a few or one this month, at the end of the video, I will show a side-by-side -side comparison of all the polishes that I shared with you today in the same order so you can kind of compare there, decide what you want. So from KB Shimmer this month, we have a polish called The Chosen One. It's described as being a shifty, reflective shade with a deep, Base that shifts from blue to a blackened purple. It's also got silver reflective glitters. The price is going to be $11 and there will not be a cap. And this was inspired by Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So we are seeing so much beautiful depth and contrast with this polish and bright lighting. We get a whole lot of that blue base, but as you move your nail around, you can see some of the shifts to purple as well. And then it's almost like those silver reflective glitters are just sitting on top of that sparkly blue base. It's beautiful on application. This one is packed with those glitters. So I did will say it's on the thicker side in terms of application. But with that comes a whole lot of opacity. I was able to get it fully opaque in just two coats. It did dry down very textured. So I would recommend a glitter smoother for sure, unless you like that textured finish. Some people love it. <laughs> um, and also this is going to be very difficult to remove because there are so many reflective glitters. I would definitely recommend either pairing it with a peel off base coat, which I did, or you could soak it off. So here is what two coats of the chosen one looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. Look at that beautiful shine. Look at that incredible sparkle. It's just like a wintry wonderland. Oh, I love it. So pretty. And here's what it looks like under flashlight. My goodness. It like transforms and almost takes on like this charcoal-y, but quality, but you can still see the glowiness of the blue. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And I feel like there's an aqua glow in there too. Yeah. Lots of colors. So pretty. <laughs> Pictured are two coats of the chosen one from KB Shimmer with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. KB Shimmer is returning with their sugar scrub this month in the scent Cucumber Melon. This huge, almost 10 ounce tub is going to retail for $10 only and there will not be a cap. This, of course, is inspired by the famous Bath and Body Works scent of the 90s, Cucumber Melon. Personally, I was a sun ripened raspberry girl myself, but this does smell really delicious. It's got notes of ripe honeydew, watermelon, as well as crisp, cool cu cucumber. It's sweet, a little bit tangy and tart, and very refreshing. And it looks beautiful too. It's got a beautiful swirl of a soft melon orange color as well as a pale green. And I think this is the perfect scrub for spring. If you haven't used KB Shimmer Sugar Scrubs before, they are on the more coarse side. So for that reason, they are absolutely perfect, in my opinion, for pedicures. I use my KB Shimmer Sugar Scrub every single week as part of my pedicure routine, and they do the trick perfectly. <laughs> um, the ingredients are very high quality, too. It's got a sucralose base, so like a sugar base. And then it has lots of nourishing oils like olive oil, castor seed oil, cocoa seed butter, shea butter. They're going to help keep your skin moisturized and looking beautiful after you exfoliate. And the final blue polish I have to share with you today is, you guessed it, another reflective glitter. This one comes from Leisha's Lacquer, and it's called Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's described as being a blue reflective glitter polish with black to red to gold to green flakies. Price for this will be $13. This one does have a low cap of 250 bottles, and you probably already guessed the inspiration. This one is inspired by Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> You'll be happy to know, by the way, I sang that theme song to my students today, and they continued the song. They went, Bill, Bill, Bill. So yeah, today's elementary school students still know who Bill Nye, the science guy is. That's a win in my book. <laughs> um, but back to this polish, it has a beautiful, striking deep navy blue base and that provides amazing contrast with those reflective glitters and you'll see the shift in the flakies in a second they're beautiful too so the base of this is definitely jelly it's a little on the sheer side which helps you see all of those incredible flakes and glitters application was smooth and easy this isn't a glitter bomb so it wasn't the kind of reflective glitter polish that is thicker it was very easy easy to put on. It built up really nicely in two coats, but I could still see my nail showing through. So I did go in for three and reached full opacity. If you have longer nails, I could see you maybe having a little bit of visible nail line with this one, but it wouldn't be too bad. So here is what three coats of Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> I'll stop chanting it. Uh, looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat, this one did dry down a little bit textured. Mostly it just dried down really thirsty. Um, and the glitters did make it difficult to remove. As you move your hand around, you can see that incredible shift that I was in no way ready for from those red flakies. This one almost reminds me of like a red to black multi-chrome, but a blue to red multi-chrome. Not that. It's not claiming to be that, but that's what it reminded me of. And look at it under flashlight. Dazzling. I am dazzled. <laughs> Pictured our three coats of Bill, Bill, Bill from Leisha's Lacquer with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. Also, I apologize if you're hearing any sounds in the background. My heat's actually been out all week this week, and I'm using a space heater because it's nine degrees where I'm at right now. So we're going to take a look at a few items from Unicorn Magic. They're bringing us two, and we're starting off with their deluxe acetone additive scented in Beverly Hills 90210. This one ounce bottle is going to retail for $5.50 and will be capped at 150 bottles. If you haven't used uh, Unicorn Magic, deluxe acetone additives before. I highly recommend them. They've got little dropper dispensers so that you can add them to your dappen dish for cleanup, help prevent that acetone from drying out your cuticles. Um, and it's really easy to control how much you apply to your acetone. If you haven't used a acetone additive at all before, basically you shake up this bottle. It does contain oil, so it's going to come separated. Shake it up and add it to your pure acetone, and it's going to prevent acetone from drying out your nails. Super helpful in the winter. I would say, for me, essential. And this one has lots of wonderful ingredients like glycerin, jojoba oil, olive oil, argan oil, and vitamin E that are going to help provide that moisture. As far as scent goes, the scent notes for this are floral bouquet of gardenia, tuberose, sweet vanilla, and exotic musk. I was a little intimidated by the scent initially. I don't usually like floral scents, but this had the freshness of the florals and the sweetness of the tuberose vanilla and the earthiness of the musk. I thought it was a really well-blended scent that wasn't too strong in any direction. The second item that Unicorn Magic is bringing to the IPU shop this month is their deluxe triple butter hand lotion scented in strawberry glazed donuts inspired by The Simpsons. This one is going to retail for $8.50. It does come in a two ounce jar and will be capped at 200 tubs. Scent notes for this say that it smells like sweet, buttery vanilla batter topped with freshly sliced strawberries. When I smelled this initially, it really reminded me of like a strawberry cake. It's got a very sweet fragrance. So if you love sweet fragrances, this one's going to be yours all the way. Um, and it definitely has a like strawberry flavored smell. Um, it doesn't quite have the tartness of like a fresh strawberry, 
but it has the sweetness that a strawberry donut would have. So I think spot on with the inspiration in that way. If you haven't used this lotion before from Unicorn Magic, oh my goodness, it is decadent. <laughs> it's super thick. Um, when you like shake the jar, it doesn't budge at all. That tells you how thick it is. <laughs> um, and it really helps moisturize and protect your skin. It's got lots of nourishing ingredients like hyalurized oats, shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, and lots of different oils like jojoba oil, sunflower oil, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, argan oil, soybean oil. <sighs> it's very moisturizing. <laughs> um, if you're looking for a nourishing moisturizing lotion this winter and you love sweet scents, this one's going to be one you don't want to miss. We do have a couple purples this month, one of which comes from Heather's Hughes. They're bringing us happy, happy, joy, joy, which is inspired by the Ren and Stimpy show, which by the way, if you haven't seen the video that goes along with that song as an adult, you should go back and watch it because I just did for nostalgia's sake and yeah, it hits different. <laughs> I'm like a little bit um, like, I can't stop thinking about it. That was kind of a strange experience. Anyway, um, Happy Happy Joy Joy is described as being a thermal polish that's purple when it's cold. That's what you're seeing in the video. And blue when it's warm. It's filled with a bright pink shimmer that shifts orange to gold as well as silver reflective glitters. The price for this is $12.50 and this one does have a low cap of 250 bottles. Another one I wouldn't be surprised in the least to see sell out. So this one has a beautiful jelly formula. It goes on super smooth and easy with no patchiness, very even coverage and great opacity for a shade. Um, that transitions to this light color. You can already see it transitioning on me. I was actually able to get it to full opacity for me in just two coats. If I was looking hard, I could see some nail lines. So you may want to go in for three if you've got longer nails, but I was happy with two. This one did dry down with just a little bit of texture because of those reflective glitters, but I found that it smoothed out pretty well with a regular glossy top coat. I would say a glitter smoother is optional for this one. So here's what two coats of Happy Happy Joy Joy looks like in its cold state. We get some gorgeous contrast between that pink red shimmer and the purple base. It's just so beautiful. And here's what it looks like in its warm state. It's more of like a periwinkle blue color. And again, beautiful contrast with the shimmer. I love, love this shimmer. It is so glowy. Here's what it looks like in two coats in flashlight. Yes. I love this polish just in regular lighting and then love it even more under flashlight. And I think that's my new rule of thumb with the reflective glitters. They have to be beautiful regardless of the lighting situation. This one truly is. Pictured are two coats of happy, happy, joy, joy from Heather's Hughes with a glossy top coat. Also from Heather's Hughes is their Cutico Balm in the scent Downtown as Fruits. Price for this will be $11 and is going to be capped at $75. Heather was inspired by the episode of Hey Arnold when Arnold and Gerald get stuck downtown dressed as fruits. One of my favorite shows growing up. Love the inspo. So scent notes for this are ripe banana, apple, strawberries, and sweet cherries with hints of pearberry, lime, vanilla extract, and sugar crystals. So in my opinion... This is a very well-balanced scent. You get the yummy fruitiness. You also get the sweetness and just a hint of tartness. And none of the fragrance notes are overwhelming. Really pleasant scent in my experience. This does contain almond oil. So if you have a sensitivity to nut oils, keep that in mind. As far as performance of this product goes, I was a little bit apprehensive at first just because I'm not typically drawn to cuticle balms. Sometimes they can be kind of sticky and greasy. This one was not. I applied it about a minute ago and I actually have zero shine around my cuticles. As soon as I applied it, it really sunk into my skin and was quickly absorbed. It didn't leave any sticky or greasy feeling, so very, very impressed with how this performed, and I can't wait to use it more in the future. 
Another fabulous purple that will be available this month comes from Music City Beauty. It is called The One With, and it's described as being a purple jelly base with blue to purple color shifting shimmer and scattered holographic. The price for this is going to be $13, and it will be capped at 150 bottles. Lots of low caps this month, you guys. Make sure if you love any of these capped polishes that you are ready to shop as soon as the shop opens on February 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So this one is inspired by Monica's apartment from Friends. Just too cute. And I think the exact perfect shade of purple. It's light and soft. And you get just so much sparkle from that holographic pigment in here, as well as the gorgeous color shifting shimmer. It seems to be mostly blue and bright lighting. But as you move your hand around in other lightings, you get shift to green as well. On application, this had a smooth, beautiful formula. I was surprised to see that I got so much opacity on the first coat with a shade this light. I thought it looked beautiful in two coats. I think, honestly, I could have probably kept it at two, but I did go in for three because... It was so pretty <laughs> and it went on very well too. I've got to say Music City Beauty's brush was wonderful to work with. It's cut so well. So here's what it looks like in three coats. We get that shift from blue to green, that holographic sparkle. I do feel like this one has a little bit of brush strokes throughout when it's wet, but when it dried down, for the most part, those went away. In this lighting, you can also see a shift, I feel like, in the shimmer. To purple which is really pretty and kind of tonal with the base gorgeous gorgeous polish pictured are three coats of the one with from music city beauty with a glossy top coat Moving on to our pinks, this month from Pampered Polishes, we get Courage, which is described as being a soft pink crelly loaded with an assortment of black glitter. Price for this is going to be $12.50, and there will not be a cap. This one's inspired by Courage the Cowardly Dog, which horrified me as a child. I don't know why I continue to watch it. It gave me nightmares on a regular basis. <laughs> um, so I would say the base of Courage leans strongly purple. It's definitely a light pastel pink, but it does have a strong purple lean to it. I think the combination of that beautiful pastel base and all of those different sized glitters, we see squares, hexes, micro glitters, truly an assortment is a really fun and unique combination. I thought application for this one was wonderful for a shade this light. Sometimes these kind of crellies can be a little bit patchy on the first coat, but as you can see, we get beautiful coverage right away. Lots of those glitters out too. I think I got good enough opacity to leave this one at two. You may be comfortable leaving it at two, but honestly, I wanted even more glitters, more of that pond effect. So I did go in for three for this and got full opacity. Because of all the glitters in here, this one's going to be a little bit challenging to remove. It also dries down with quite a bit of texture, so it'd be a great candidate to pair with a smoothing base coat. And look how the glitters look perfectly random. Beautiful. I didn't use any placement. They just do that on their own. So here's what three coats of Courage looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. You get a really smooth, beautiful finish. I love seeing those different size glitters, the squares and the hexes mixed in with those micro glitters. Very fun and playful and a cool way, I think, to transition from winter to spring this year. Pictured are three coats of Courage from Pampered Polishes with a smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat. Next up from Glisten and Glow, we have Miss Fine. It's described as being a bright magenta jelly polish filled with color shifting iridescent flakes that shift from blue to purple to pink and red to orange to green to gold. It also has vibrant fuchsia shreds and a pop of holographic micro flakes. The price for this is going to be $13. There will not be a cap. And this, of course, is inspired by the nanny named Fran, <laughs> specifically when, um, Sheffield would yell at Fran. <laughs> um, I love that show growing up. Oh, I'm just getting so much nostalgia this month. It's wonderful. So in bright lighting, you get, of course, that gorgeous magenta jelly base, but the flakes appear to be mostly blue. However, when you take it into lower lighting, this polish looks 
quite different. <laughs> um, both beautiful in my opinion, but you get a lot more shiftiness from the flakes and lower lighting than you're seeing in the bottle here. On application, this definitely does have a more sheer jelly base. It's packed with those flakies though, and you can see the holographic sparkle coming out already. I did need to build this up to three coats to get full opacity, and I think most people will want to do that if you don't want any visible nail line. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering how this one compares to Pink in the City, which I love from Glisten and Glow too, Pink in the City is a lot more vibrant, almost has like a neon pink base. Miss Fine is a lot deeper in base color, almost looks berry next to Miss Fine. And the flakes in Miss Fine shift more rainbowy, where the flakes in Pink in the City are much more blue to green shifting. So here is what Miss Fine looks like built up in three coats with a glossy top coat under direct light. We're seeing that blue shift of the flakes, the holographic sparkle, and then those fuchsia shreds in there too. And then here's what it looks like out of direct light. And I feel like my video is only doing a little bit of justice to how shifty those flakes are. Truly in the bottle, I see blue, pink, orange, green, purple. It's beautiful. Pictured our three coats of Miss Fine from Glisten and Glow with a glossy top coat. Glisten and Glow is also bringing us their cuticle remover and cuticle oil pen duo this month. The duo is going to retail for $12.50 and there will be no cap. So the cuticle oil pen is scented in watermelon and then the cuticle remover pen is scented in strawberry. So you kind of get a little blend of fruits there. It's kind of nice. Um, so the oil pen has lots of nourishing oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, grapeseed oil. It does have sweet almond oil. So again, if you've got nut sensitivities, you'll want to keep that in mind. Um, but I find it to be very nourishing, sinks into the skin quickly, and smells so delicious. The cuticle remover pen if you haven't used this from Glesson and Glow, it's a wonderful product. It's got kind of a gel-like consistency, so it's not super runny. It's easy to apply with that applicator tip right to the place you want it, right around your cuticle. It doesn't run, and then you just leave them on, leave the product on for 60 seconds, and gently push back, and it's going to help clean up those cuticles and then you can hydrate them after with the cuticle oil pen. So wonderful duo. I find these great, especially for traveling. Next up is a shade where I wasn't quite sure where to place it in terms of color because it has so many of them. This one is from Lindby Designs. It's called A Simple Girl with Simple Taste. It's described as being a buildable black base with red to purple to blue shifting magnetic pull, magic hollow flakies, and hidden red to orange to yellow shifting shimmer. Price for this is going to be $13. There will not be a cap. And we have another Free and Fine inspired polish. Yay! It's inspired by Free and Fine's beautiful fashion. So the base of this one is super unique. I really am having a hard time placing what I would call the color, maybe like a blackened copper shade. You'll see it when I pull in those beautiful magnetic pigments here in just a second. Um, it's like a blackened copper and then the shimmer and bright lighting, the magnetic shimmer looks to be a beautiful, bright purple leaning red. Look at that contrast. Super unique polish. I have absolutely nothing like this in my collection. And then the hollow just adds a little extra sparkle. It's really beautiful. On application, this one was pretty sheer on that first coat. It looks like we have great pigmentation, but then when you apply the magnet, it reveals a lot of nail line. Interestingly, and I've never tried a matte like this before, or sorry, I've never tried a polish, a magnetic polish like this before. It dried down to a beautiful matte finish. It was really pretty, but also kind of a little bit of a challenge to work with because it dried down kind of quickly. You had to be super quick with your magnet. Otherwise, you'd have maybe a little bit of a hard time pulling the pigments inward. Just a note, in case you're using this um, and you're having trouble getting it to magnetize, work quickly with your magnet and also give it a good shake before you apply. That way, the magnetic pigments aren't settled to the bottom. So in three coats, I had full opacity. If you've got longer nails, you might see just a little bit of nail line, but really interesting combinations here with the blackened copper base and that pink to purple 
purple to bluish shifting shimmer. On my ring finger, by the way, is what it looks like built up in three coats without it being magnetized. The other three fingers are magnetized. Pictured our three coats of a simple girl with simple taste from Linby Designs with a glossy top coat. Linby Designs will also have a wax melt in this month's IPU shop in the scent churn, baby churn. It's going to retail for $5 and will be capped at $110. This one smells like maple walnut ice cream, yum, and is inspired by season one of Good Eats. Oh my goodness, the name alone is just too good. <laughs> um, so as far as scent description goes, when I smell this, I get a whole lot of sweetness in general. It's a very sweet scent, super gourmand. I'm getting a lot of the maple and the walnut. This is not a shy scent. It is in your face deliciousness. So if you grab this one, you're going to want to make sure that you absolutely love maple and walnut. It's pretty sweet, so make sure you love sweet scents as well. It also is decorated with these adorable holographic glitters. They're like the moon-shaped, crescent-shaped kind. My favorite because they don't sink immediately to the bottom of the wax melt. Um, yeah, really delicious fragrance. Makes me want to go have some maple ice cream. Moving into our more neutral shades from Net Owl Lacquer this month, we have Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat, which is described as a taupe gray. <laughs> yeah, that was awful. I'm sorry. Um, it's got pink to gold to green shimmer, pink to gold to green crystal chameleon flakes, and aqua crystal flakes. It's going to retail for $13 and there will not be a cap for this one. So in the bottle, this is another one that looks so different on the bottle in bright lighting from how it looks in lower lighting, and I will be sure to show you both of those so you can get the full scope of this beauty. So in the bottle, the first time around, I actually put this with the greens because it has such a strong green shift to it. Um, the flakies shift green very strongly. The shimmer shifts green very strongly. But you get lots of other colors too, pink, gold, blue, and others as well. On application, you can see it has more of a taupey sheer jelly base. We get a lot of those flakes out on the first coat. On the second coat, we start to get more color and lots more flakes. And in three coats, I did reach full opacity with the shade. Although if you've got nails that are longer than mine, I could see you having a little bit of visible nail line in three coats. Look at all those flakes. This one is packed with them. Because there are so many flakes in here, I would definitely recommend going in for thinner coats. So here's what three coats of Smelly Cat looks like with a glossy top coat and some bright natural lighting. <sighs> Those flakes are so beautiful. In the bright lighting, you can see a lot of that taupe base. And then the flakes seem to shift mostly green to gold to blue. And then in indirect lighting, which is what you're looking at now, you get a strong green shift from the flakes. And then again, we still get all of those shifts to blue, to red, to gold. Really interesting and unique polish. Another one I don't have anything like in my collection. Sorry, I'm saying that a lot this month. <laughs> Pictured our three coats of Smelly Cat from Night Owl Lacquer with a glossy top coat. Next up from MTK Design, we have The Rest is Silence. It's described as a green to gold to bronze multi-chrome with magnetic pigments and flakes that shift from pink to purple to blue. This one's going to retail for $12. It will not have a cap, and it's inspired by Dinobot from Beast Wars, specifically Code of Hero. So this one is beautiful either magnetized or unmagnetized. I am going to show you what both looks like. But in the base, because of all of the colors that are in there, the green, the gold, the bronze, and a lot of, lot of lightings, this one kind of looks like a metallic-y brown that shifts to green. It's really pretty, and I love the combination of flakes in here. On the nail, this one was more pigmented than I was expecting. You can kind of see here how the base looks to be a beautiful bronzy brown, and then we get those goldish green magnetic pigments throughout. It's really pretty unmagnetized. That's actually probably how I would prefer to wear this one. So I applied my magnet, held it for 30 seconds, and we kind of get a subtle magnetic effect. 
On the second coat, I actually did reach full opacity. Now I did go in for a third. I was kind of wondering if maybe I wasn't quick enough with my magnet on the second coat and that's why the effect was subtle. And so I went in for a third coat and tried to be a little bit quicker, but honestly, the end result was the same. This is just a magnetic pigment that is on the subtle side. So I applied it for 30 seconds and here's what it looks like in three coats all coats magnetized. You can kind of see a collection of those gold magnetic pigments in the center there, but they're still well scattered throughout the nail polish, and I think it makes for a pretty shimmer. So here's what it looks like built up in three coats. All nails are magnetized except for the ring finger there. That's unmagnetized. And we get a gorgeous shift from the brown to the bronze to the green, and then lots of pop from those flakies. And here's a look at what you see in indirect lighting. You get a stronger shift to that green, a little bit of a shift to gold as well, and the flaky stand out even more. Pictured our three coats of The Rest is Silence from MTK Designs with a glossy top coat. This month from Sassy Sauce Polish, we have Bada Bling. It's described as being a cool gray curly with red to orange shifting shimmer and black to red multi-chrome flakes. This is going to retail for $12.50 and has a cap of $300. Another one I wouldn't be surprised to see sell out. Inspiration for this polish comes from a photo of the Sopranos. So I love red black multi-chrome that's no secret but i really like the way that carrie used them in this polish the soft gray base is just so contrasting so juxtaposing with those beautiful red black multi-chrome flakes and the beautiful shimmer in here just intensifies that juxtaposition you get the coolness from the base the intensity and flash of the flakes and the shimmer it's beautiful on application, this one has a very crelly like base and it is packed with those flakies and shimmer. It built up really quickly on the second coat, but I did need three for a full opacity and I think most people will. Gosh, just the combination in colors in here is so beautiful. I think this one is spectacular for any time of year, but especially winter time. So here is what three coats of Bada Bling looks like with a glossy top coat and some indirect lighting. We're getting all of that shift from red to black in the multi-chrome flakes, but we're also getting the shift and the shimmer from the red to the orange. And I feel like there's gold in there too. And here's what it looks like in more direct lighting. In bright lighting, the base color becomes a little bit more clear and the red to black multi-chrome flakies stand out even more. Pictured are three coats of Bada Bling from Sassy Sauce Polish with a glossy top coat. This month from Colors to Carol, we have You See What I Want You to See, which is described as being a black, silver, and red reflective glitter and holographic micro flaky polish. The price for this is going to be $13.50, and it has a cap of 350 bottles. All these caps, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's super low, and unfortunately, this is another one that I could totally see selling out. Um, it is inspired by the X-Files. So this one has a clear base. Everything you're looking at in the bottom bottle are beautiful reflective glitters. We've got red ones, black ones, and silver ones. It's beautiful in regular lighting and under reflective like flash lighting. It is absolute insanity. I just cannot wait to see what the makers continue to do with this awesome reflective glitter. Like, can you imagine a reflective glitter polish that also glowed in the dark? My goodness, like now I'm dreaming. <laughs> So this one is a reflective glitter, glitter bomb. It definitely applies on the thicker side, so I would recommend going in for thinner coats, but it is sheer enough to be used as a topper. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like as well. I was surprised with how sheer it was on that first coat that I reached full opacity in just two coats. If your nails are longer, maybe you'd need three for this one, but I really do think most people will be good in two. So here is what two coats of Calorista Carol's offering looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. Since this is a reflective glitter glitter bomb, it dries down extremely textured. I would recommend a glitter smoother to get that gorgeous glossy look. 
Removal for this one will be challenging, so I definitely recommend pairing it with a peel off base coat or soaking it off. And here's what it looks like under flashlight. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You get like a charcoal -y sparkle, a silver sparkle, and a red sparkle from those reflective glitters. And this one I do want to point out is super sparkly and just regular sunlight. Definitely more sparkly than your average regular glitter. And then under flashlight, it just comes to life. Pictured our three coats of You See What I Want You to See from Colors to Carol with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. And over my ring finger is one coat over black. Indie Polish by Patty Lopez brings us the blazer this month, which is described as having red, teal, micro metallic flakies and silver reflective glitter, as well as Aurora shimmer. The price for this is going to be $13. It's capped at $300 and it's inspired by the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and specifically a blazer that he wore in one of the episodes. So this polish is incredibly beautiful. We get holographic, the reflective glitters. I just love that combination together because you get the sparkle in sunlight, you get the sparkle under flashlight, and then it's got beautiful shimmer as well and some metallic flakes. Very glitzy, super sparkly. As you can see, this one was a little bit sheer on that first coat as well. So I'll show you what this looks like over black too. It started to build up really nicely in that second coat though. There was a little bit of visible nail line. So I did go in for three and I think three will be perfect for most people. However, if you're in a rush, I think you could get away with two. This one has those reflective glitters, but it's not a reflective glitter glitter bomb. So it doesn't apply too thick and it also doesn't dry down quite as textured as other reflective glitters that I tried. That being said, I still did pair it with a glitter smoothing top coat, but I wouldn't say it's altogether necessary. So here's what three coats of the blazer looks like with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. You're also seeing one coat of it over black, really beautiful. And I feel like the black brings out some different shifts. I feel like you can almost see a shift to gold over black. And here's what it looks like on under flashlight. I'm so excited. I can't talk. <laughs> Look how it's freaking out my camera with all of that reflective sparkle. It's unreal. And the hollow too. The hollow too. Pictured our three coats of the blazer from Indie Polish by Patty Lopez with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat as well as one coat over black. The last polish I have to share with you today before we get into our big wheel of comparisons comes from DRK Nails and it's called In Living Color. It's a super sparkly blue linear holographic with a mix of black to red shifty flakes and turquoise metallic flakes. This one is going to retail for $13 and the cap is TBD. So it hasn't been announced. Fingers crossed it doesn't have one or it has one that's really high. <laughs> So the base for this is incredibly holographic. It is so rainbowy. You'll see here in a second when it's on the nails just how holographic it truly is. And the mix of flakies is awesome. <laughs> I love the crushed red to black ones and the turquoise ones mixed in there. It's such a unique combination. On application, this one was on the sheer side. I want to say it could be used as a topper as well. I didn't try with that with this one, unfortunately, but now I wish I would have because I think it would have looked so cool. In two coats, it started to build up really well, but I could still see some nail showing through. So I did go in for three and reached full opacity. If you've got nails that are longer than mine, you might have still a little bit of visible nail line with this one in three coats. Look at that mix of flakies. I see red, I see black, I see turquoise, and all the rainbows. Goodness, so pretty. And this is before it, it's dried down. So here's what it looks like dried down in three coats with a glossy top coat. Look at that hollow. Holy smokes, this is beautiful. <laughs> and I don't even usually like silver polishes, but this one, breathtaking. So pretty. Pictured are three coats of In Living Color from DRK Nails with a glossy top coat. All right, so let's take a look at all of the polishes one more time on a swatch wheel, swatched in the same order that I showed them to you in the video. The orange is by Danny Viana Huncules. The green with the metallic flakes is Stella Chroma Crikey. The green with the purple and pink shifts is Wildflower Lacquer. It's Showtime. The green in the center now with the reflective glitters is Bees Knees Lacquer Jossum. 
That silvery shade with the blue to sea foam shift is Bluebird Lacquer. I'm so over Jordan Catalano. That green based polish is Fair Maiden Polish Down by the Creek. And the forest green is Overcome with Emotion from Cupcake Polish. The first blue there is To the Bus from Dom Nail Polish. The blue with all the rainbow flakies is Time Out from Rogue Lacquer. The mid-toned blue is Cuticula Against the Tide. The mid-toned blue with the pink shimmers is Penelope Lou Stargate. The mid-toned blue with all the flakies is Garden Path Lacquer's Omelette du Fromage. With the silver reflective glitters and slightly darker is the KB Shimmer, The Chosen One. And then there at the end is Leisha's Lacquer, Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> and moving on to our purples, pinks, and neutral slash metallics now. That first purple is Heather's Hues, Happy, Happy, Joy, Joy. The lighter purple beside it is Music City Beauty, the one with. That light pink with the black glitters is Pampered Polish's Courage. The magenta with the flakes is Glisten and Glow, Miss Fine. <laughs> that taupey, coppery with the pink is Lindby Designs, A Simple Girl with Simple Taste. That taupey base with the green shift is Night Owl Lacquer, Smelly Cat. The bronzy, goldy, green one is MTK Design. The rest is Silence. The light gray is Sassy Sauce Polish, Bada Bling. The charcoal reflective glitter bomb is Caloris to Carol, You See What I Want You to See. With the teal and red flakes is Indie Polish by Patty Lopez, The Blazer. And with the turquoise flakes and all of that holographic is DRK Nails in Living Color. Yep, see, I told you, the makers went all out this month. Let me know in the comments what you're most inspired to grab, even if I didn't show it to you in today's video. I don't think I'm gonna be able to resist shopping myself this month, so I will leave my wish list down there too. And in case this video just wasn't long enough for you and you wanna see some more beautiful polishes be swatched, you should check out some of my recent videos. Last week I live swatched and reviewed the newest collection from Bees Knees Lacquer inspired by The Witcher and it's what I have on my nails right now. It is beautiful. <laughs> I also recently live swatched and reviewed a bunch of new releases from Caloris to Carol. And I recently posted a video where I shared with you my very favorite polishes that were released in 2021. I'll link all those videos down in the description box so you can check them out. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and it was helpful for you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Happy shopping. Bye.